Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Kingdom Come Deliverance. There seem to be a couple of weird uh, graphical things. Uh, I don't think it's the game, I think it's my computer. For some reason it took a lot longer to load than normal. Um, and it seems to be running a little bit choppier than normal. So I'm not exactly sure what the issue is, but uh, yeah. Like I say, I think it's my computer uh, more than the game itself. So we talked to Matthew and Fritz. Um, surprisingly it loaded in uh, in the middle of conversation with them. So that was pretty interesting. I just uh, asked them those couple of questions again. And um, yeah, now we are where we are. So I don't know where this uh, Elias or Elijah is. I can't remember which one. God be with you. Yep, and also with you. I didn't see him at the other place. I'm here looking for a fellow called Elijah from Merhoyed. I know him, but you're most likely to find him in some tap room on the square. He only comes here now and then. Thanks. Tap room on the square, huh? I'm not sure what that means. I wish they could be a little more specific. Oh, see one of these guys waiting on soup? Waiting at the soup kitchen? Villager, baker, Welcome, Henry. watchman. Villager, how's it going? Wherever you are. Miller. Okay. It said I could talk to the miller, but I'm just not interested right now. It's probably to ask him about work for Matthew and Fritz, but I could be wrong. Okay, let's go uh, get started on these other quests, though. I was thinking there was a priest running around here. Oh, this is the overseer. What is it? How are things? My respects to you. <laughs> wow, this is a little it was late. Young Zmola. What? Zmola's the one responsible for all the thefts and death. He tried to kill me and Leshek, and God knows who else. Sweet Well, he did Jesus. kill Leshek. Where is he now? He ran away, and I doubt he'll come back. He knows the gallows await him. So is that the end of it, do you think? It looks that way. I don't know if he had any cronies, but if he did, they'll be lying low from now on. I'm glad to hear that. After all the horrible things that have happened, we'll have to reconsecrate part of the monastery. Seems like it, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's not who I thought we were talking to, though. So let's scurry on past here. Alright. This old man isn't the guy either. Brother Porter, his name is? Can I take a look inside the monastery? What's got into you, boy? The grounds inside the monastery belong to the monks of the Order of St. Benedict. No others shall pass. Okay. I mean, I can uh, pick whatever lock you put in front of me, so don't be so sure no others can pass. Uh, yeah, Johanka? I don't know if you've heard about it, but Merhoyed was attacked. Oh, God! How is Matthias? Wounded in the arm. He's being brave about it, but his injury looks bad. I need to see him. Before you go, there's something else. What? Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Their livestock has died off, and now the people are coming down with it too. I thought maybe someone here might know what to do. Merciful heavens. How awful. It's a good thing you've come here. If there's any hope, this is the place to find it. You need Brother Nicodemus, a monastery so. physician. He may know how to deal with it. Okay. Very well. I'll try to find him. Try to find come him, back yeah. when you know more. <laughs> Thank you, Johanka. Where in the world could Nicodemus possibly be? Oh, look, here he is. Plagues? Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Johanka said that you might be able to advise. A disease, you say? How intriguing. <laughs> intriguing? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, it's very interesting. But can you help these people? I can't say at this point. I need to find out a little more. Good point. Tell me... Has the whole village come down with it? 
Uh, pretty much, yeah. As far as I can remember, everybody. There were a couple of people that weren't quite sick yet, but just about every house had a cross on it. I expect so. Well, why would they be so fearful about it? Mehoyed? Isn't there a stud farm there? And what of the animals? Did they get infected too? Yes, there's a stud farm. They started dying first. And they've all died off. The horses, the cattle, chickens, and now it's got to the people. That is most intriguing. <laughs> what are we to do about it? He's very do intrigued. Do you know the symptoms? Uh, yes. Yes, more or less. Excellent. I have several extensive volumes here in the library. Describe the epidemic, including the symptoms, and we could take some guidance there. Can you read? Uh, I can. Yes, I can. Excellent. So follow me to the scriptorium. Objective failed. Investigate the plague of Merhoyed. So, where shall we start? Evidently there's something amiss in the digestive tract. In the what? The digestive tract, Henry. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> the trouble lies between the mouth and the arsehole. Uh-huh. Sure. Just so. We can rule nothing out at this stage. You look in the Breviarum to Sickness Causa. It's a renowned manuscript from Salerno, written by one Johann of St. Paul. But I don't know Latin. Fortunately for you, our brother librarian is translating these momentous medical works into the common tongue. So you can still be of use. Nice. Study the breviary carefully. Okay. And compare the symptoms with the recorded cases. That will guide us. Good. I'll try the proven classics. Avicenna and his Canon Medicinae, and Galen's Magnum Opus, the Ars Medicinalis. Wow. He looked like he was about to punch me in the face. He's really excited about these books. Okay. Yeah, this is... You can tell by the B on my uh, compass up there that this is the place to be. How many bandages do I have on me right now? To get a little distracted. Fifteen. Okay. But there are also other ways in which the inner humors are disturbed and the blood weakened. One such is by poisoning, which is manifested by fever and delirium. Uh, we noticed delirium when the guy was asking us if we were his brother and talking about the festival in Scalitz or something. Stomach ache, bringing convulsions, diarrhea, and great thirst. If a person is poisoned by gas, for example in mines, near swamps, or similar places, there often appears on him a rash around the nose and mouth. However, this rash does not occur if the poison is ingested through food consumed. Poisoning is not transmitted between humans or animals, but if they all drink, for example, from the same source of water, then people are inflicted as well as animals, the latter often sooner. So the animals were afflicted first. Um, and it afflicted the people. So that's what it sounds like to me. So it's got to be poisoning. It's got to be, for sure. I think I have it. Yes? And what do you make of it? Uh, poisoning. Oh, it's got them uh, separated here. That's interesting. We did not They didn't have any sores around the mouth or anything. It's poisoning from tainted water. Really? That sounds rather unlikely. But if Master Johann of St. Paul's says so, who am I to contradict him? Why would it be we unlikely? We have to prepare some medicine at once. Okay. I could help with that. Really? I mean, don't yeah. look so surprised. I know my way around the alchemistic arts. An ordinary fellow who knows the arts of physic? That's right. Who would have thought it? Me? Excellent. I'll give you the recipe. Okay. And you have my permission to make use of the monastery laboratory. Oh, how I'll kind of you. I'll right away. I've never used it before, I, I promise. meanwhile, shall head straight to, uh, where was it again? Merhoyed. <laughs> Oh, yes, Mehoyed. I'll take Johanka with me. She has no equal in caring for the sick. Once you have the medication ready, hurry after me. Thank you, Brother Nicodemus. Uh, yeah, good luck. Good luck, Brother Nicodemus. And to you, Henry. Okay. So we have his permission to uh, make the 
um, antidote here. I wonder if just a regular antidote potion would do it. Here we go. Merhoyed Remedy. This is the one that we have to make. It is uh, an antidote, isn't it? Charcoal, valerian, and thistle. Charcoal, nettle, and thistle. There we go. Okay. Water, charcoal, valerian, and thistle. Um, drop the thistle in the cauldron and boil for two turns. So two thistle, two turns. One valerian, one turn. Leave to cool and add the charcoal. Okay. Uh, water. It confuses me that the wine is in the blue container, but that's fine. I haven't tried anything with oil yet. Did, we didn't have to grind anything, do we? No. Okay. So it's two thistle, two turns. One valerian, one turn. So there's one thistle, two thistle. Let's go ahead and get started with the fire. One turn. And then two turns. Grab the Valerian. Still boiling, so let's just turn this one more pump. Make sure it stays going. Uh, leave to cool and then add the charcoal but do not boil so we need it to not be boiling any longer it's not boiling any longer so we can add the charcoal I'm pretty sure and then finish it off Yes, aid for Merhoyed. We got it. Okay. My respects to you. And also with you. I've taken care of that camp. Oh, yes? And what proof might you have of that? Here it is. I did the maths, and he gives At us 41... At least one piece of good news today. There, take your reward. Some woodcutters reported okay. there's an encampment across the ford on the wooded headland there. Go and deal with that. I see. Okay, will do. Yeah, he gives us uh, 41 Grosham per trophy. I think uh, Robard, Robard? Bernard would give us like 25 or something like that. And I don't know if Robard gives us cash for bandit trophies or uh, just cumin trophies. I'm not sure. Uh, but I did notice that we didn't sell any of the cumin trophies to the custodian. Uh, neither was he interested in that after we had already sold the bandit trophies. Brother Elias. So I was wrong. It's close, though. Good health to you, sir. I'm looking for an odd jobber here. Elijah's his name. From Murho yet? Yes, I know him. He's sitting outside at the farthest well, bench. Then, Thanks. Whoa. Hey. Got it for you right here. See what the charlatan has to say? Ah, I know you. I know you from somewhere. Hmm. Where do I know you from? What? <laughs> yeah, what? Of course, hey, my dream. Come to see us. You were in a boat made of bone, and I put a crown of thorns on your head. Oh, why would you do that to me? All right. Tell me about this dream of yours. That dream. Yes, that dream has come true. I dreamt that a young man would become my apprentice. Oh, well. <laughs> my own pupil in the trade of miracle. miracles. Miracles, eh? Uh, then I'm in luck. Then I'm in luck. On the contrary, I'm the lucky one. Ah. What's your name, young man? Mm. Henry. Henry. 
a powerful name. That's right. So, <laughs> are you ready to become my apprentice? Of course, absolutely. Uh, what's it take? What exactly does it entail, becoming your apprentice? So a lot of work and strenuous labor. I thought so, yeah. Knowledge of medicine, theology, okay. and white magic. Awesome. You awesome. have to study the great works of the ancients and devote your time to understanding your fellow men, listening to them, and learn to read their souls. Okay. I can totally do that. Sounds demanding. That's a pretty challenging task. But that's why God has sent you. So what do you say? <laughs> so what do you say? <laughs> Oh, man. Who are you exactly? First, tell me. Who are you, and what do you do? Me? I am an unworthy, low, and miserable servant of Providence. Scholar or merchant? Believer or heathen? I wander the world without home or family, with only my wagon offering miracles to those that need them. That's who I am. I see. Without home or kin, I wander this world with my wagon, providing the miracles that people need. Okay. Ointments, relics, aromatic herbs. That's right, yep. Rare spices. Okay. Talismans and amulets for luck. All these things I have. Awesome. Okay. Good. All right. I'll be your apprentice. Wonderful. Oh, Glorious day. I have a successor in my work. <laughs> so, how do I you like plan this. to start training me? With a test of your practical skills. All right, All right, yeah. I have my eye on three rare objects of great value. Yep, yep. But sadly, they're a little difficult to obtain. Go on. Go on. First, I need a tooth of St. Procopius. Then I'll need a branch from a topping out hung on a church. Mm. And finally, a talisman. For luck, I'm a passionate player. Bloody hell, that's a lot. All right, one thing at a time. Uh, yeah, Procopius's tooth? About that tooth. It's going to be slightly more complicated, isn't it? I know. Yes, it would be very difficult to gain such a rare relic, of course. That's why I have an alternative solution. I'm listening. A layman named Procopius lives by the monastery. And it just so happens, thanks to my intricate medical knowledge, that I found out he has a sick tooth. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, and how do you know that? How did you find out he has a sore tooth? Uh, as it happens, he told me at the tavern. <laughs> but that's not important. Oh, okay. Okay, how do I get it? And how am I supposed to get the tooth? I haven't the faintest idea. You'll have to think of something. But maybe you'll be able to persuade him to let the blacksmith pull it. Hey, I was a blacksmith's son, so uh, maybe he'll let me pull it. Fine, I'll get it from him. Wonderful. Okay, uh, what's a topping out here? Yeah. This topping out? What's that? <laughs> You're not a carpenter. Seems. Uh huh. No, I'm a blacksmith. How are you, Henry? I see. Well, a topping out is a decorated spruce or a conifer tree hung on top of the roof of a new house to bring good fortune and God's blessing. Uh, okay, how am I supposed to that get it? That topping off is hung pretty high, isn't it? Naturally. It hangs on the rooftop according to tradition, and the church is tall. And how am I supposed to get it down? Damned if I know. <laughs> but they had to get it up there somehow, didn't they? Wow, this guy's uh, pretty clever. Well, then all we need to do is break off a branch somewhere, buy a few ribbons, and we've got our own homemade topping out right there. You don't understand, young man. The topping out was sanctified by a priest, and it hangs on the highest church far and wide. Ah. You can't just replace it with a decorated branch. I see. Fair enough. I see. At least he's somewhat authentic. Very well. I'll get it. Okay, and then the talisman. This player's talisman. Where am I supposed to find it? I actually have a specific one in mind. Here at the inn, there's a dice player who always has a cat's paw with him. That's supposed to bring him luck. 
It's probably the gambler that's always hanging out over by the table. Uh, yeah, and it's supposed to be a rabbit's foot. A cat's paw? I thought players bring along a rabbit's paw for luck. Uh, I thought so too. But this man is winning one game after another, so cats are clearly even more powerful than rabbits. Clearly. Oh, clearly. Okay. How am I supposed to get the talisman from him? I haven't a clue. It won't be easy, but I'm sure you'll find a way. We'll see. Yeah, he's he's uh, pretty clueless. Very well. I'll get you the paw. Okay. I'll get looking for those things then. Excellent. You do that, my journeyman. Good luck. What's he training? Speech? Oh, alchemy and pickpocketing? Okay. That, that makes sense. God be with you. Are you Elijah? That's me. Why? I have your father's last will and testament on me. <laughs> so my old man's kicked the bucket, has he? Not yet, but he's at death's door. That is certainly interesting to hear. But let me ask you this. Who the hell are you and how come you turn up here with father's will? Anyway, the old miser won't leave me even a piss pot. Uh... Huh. I could make it disappear, but I like to try this one out here. Maybe if I convince him to go back and work for his father, that would help things out. He's disinherited you, but if you return home, he might change his mind. Go back home? Not a chance. Let him choke on his bloody money. People come to see things differently on their deathbed. You might regret that one day. By Christ, who are you anyway? You sound like a preacher. <laughs> you don't have to go back for good, but you ought to say farewell to your father. To hell with him. But I suppose you're right. Thank you. My pleasure. All right. It still hasn't uh, changed my ability to go and um, hand the will off to the priest. Can I just pickpocket this guy from here? I try. Never know unless we try. That's it. Right there. That's all I wanted. Father, Vincent of Merhoyed sent me to you. What's the matter, my son? Uh, last will. I'm bringing Vincent's last will and testament. Almighty Father, be merciful. What happened? Master Vincent has been taken seriously ill. A disease has spread in Merhoyed. Yes, I did hear that people are sick in some village hereabouts. God in heaven, but Vincent is still alive? Yes, for now. Let us hope the good Lord will leave him here with us a while longer. Thank you for bringing it to me. If Vincent passes on, I'll see to his wishes. Here, take a few coins for your trouble. Thank you, Father. Oh yeah, excellent, excellent. Maybe it'll just be dusk by the time we get there. Uh-oh. Is this bandits and cumin again? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure I could just start shooting into the crowd and anybody I hit is going to be a, a good thing. Oops. Unless I run out of arrows, of course. Man, that guy's got a big old two-hander right there. He looks scary to me. Okay, new level in bow. I think I killed that guy. I think I hit that guy in the foot. I think I hit that guy in the back of the leg. <laughs> nice. Agility and vitality there.
Maybe these guys aren't bandits? I feel like they are, though. You're in the wrong place. Nope. Oh. Let's get going. Nice. You can't hide from me. What's the matter? Come on. Come on. Slight near. I'm counting on you, buddy. Good. Ah. Yeah, this guy's fast. I thought he was an old man. Okay, it looks to have finished him. This guy with the pike is coming up behind me now. Oh wow, that was a bad shot. You call that oh, wow. combat. I really thought that one was going to connect. Where are you going, buddy? That was a good shot. Okay. We can at least investigate these two bodies. Let's try to do it sneaky-like, though. Okay. I'm pretty sure that they're bandits, though. I'm pretty sure I hit him there. Oh, that one went left. That one hit him for sure. What are you doing? Tired of life, are you? All right. I don't see anybody else, so I think we're good. Yeah, they are bandits. Okay. I can't figure out why the bandits are attacking the humans, though, and vice versa. I thought that they were working together. I guess not all of them are, clearly. Let's scout. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Way too heavily brushed in there. Okay. Okay, so I can pickpocket him from here, but I can't. Can't stealth Gosh, kill him. Up on. Come said yet. <laughs> oh wow, he's pretty good. <sighs> oh, and this guy's got a bow. Get over here, you. <sighs> So here I am. How are things looking? It doesn't look good at all, my boy. Do you have the potion? Yes, here it is. I'll take four doses, you take the rest, and let's split up. I'll see to the straw family while you deal with Melikar's wife and the rest. Okay. They wouldn't let me go near that prisoner. They want him to suffer. Despite his terrible crimes, to treat a fellow mortal soul like that. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps I'll be able to convince them. I promised I'd bring them help, and I've kept my word. They must let me go to him. I hope so, but in the short while I've been here, I've found the locals to be rather stubborn. Yeah, they certainly are. <laughs> okay, so like I said in the last episode, I have to be careful with this quest. If I complete it fully, um, I won't be able to report to Radzig what I've discovered here. I'm honored that you should come to me. Okay. I brought some help, as promised. Will you let me see the prisoner? I will let you, I will. Of course I will. My boy, if you've really brought a potion to rid us of this scourge, I'll let you do anything. <laughs> ah, whether I've managed to rid you of the scourge, that remains to be seen. It'll take a few days before we know whether the potion worked. I know, but even so, 
Just the fact that someone cares, that means a lot to us. That's right. That's right. Um. Think Nicodemus? Think Radzig? Uh, I mean, Radzig is the one who sent me here, but he didn't know that the plague was happening. So, it's not really thanks to Radzig that it's being taken care of, but it is thanks to Radzig that I was here. Don't thank me, take care of your wife. I like this one a lot, because he should be taking care of his wife. Uh, never cross me again doesn't make any sense to me. I don't remember him crossing me in the first place. He was a little uh, stubborn about me seeing the prisoner, but that's no big deal. And thank Brother Nicodemus because he's here helping. I don't feel like uh, a priest would accept thanks from the people that he's helped. I feel like he would assume that it's his duty. Um, and while it's always uh, a nice thing to do to thank someone for helping you, um, there are times when a person will not accept it. So I think out of all of these... Don't think me, take care of your wife is appealing to me, but I think Radzig is the one that we're going to give the credit to. Thanks, Sir Radzig. He's the one who decided to help you. Sir Radzig is a goodly lord. I swear I'll never utter another word against him. There you now go. open up that shed. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Now let's wait and see what happens. The agony. Okay, wait and see if the remedy works. You're back. Lord, How's it going, brother? Please end this. Of course. I always please. keep my word. No more suffering. Thank you for having words with my son. It would have been wrong to die without even saying farewell to him. You're welcome. Will you alter your will, then? Don't be so hasty. <laughs> Is one visit to his parents enough to make up for years of misdeeds? I agree. Perhaps I agree. Not. Did you deliver my will? Absolutely. Uh, I did. It lies securely in the safekeeping of Father Fabian. What a relief. Don't worry, Whoa, I've three hundred remedy from Sassau. Drink this regularly, you and everyone in the house. A remedy? You have hands of gold, pure gold, my boy. God bless you. What? Bedrushka? You're back? Oh, this is the lady with yes, her husband. and I have something to make you well again. Good Lord above, thank you for showing us your mercy. Drink this and give it to everyone in the house. I've also brought someone who will take care of you until you get back on your feet. Thank you, good Samaritan. I mean, I'm not from Samaria. Brother, is that you? We have to hitch up the sled. Yes, yes, the sled. Just you drink this and you'll be fine. Is this holy water, brother? Of it course. Is. Drink some and give it to the others in the house too. Brother Nicodemus will come to check on you. Uh, let's just do us a sit and have a read. Uh, and then I'm probably going to end up having to drink my last Savior Schnapps potion and uh, leave the episode here because it's getting to be that time. But if you want to catch the next episode, be sure to subscribe. Oh no, that's fine. Uh, consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.